Cinderella story, if you will, of these European championships. Can he keep it rolling here tonight and really be the, the storyline for Slovakia? So Kazanov in the blue. It will be uh, Kirov of Bulgaria in the red. He talked about this run by Sal Kazanov, and certainly his history has showed him wrestling at high levels. It's, it's just kind of been in streaks, very hot and cold type of wrestler, but this is a world championship bronze medalist a few years ago at 79 kilos. He was up a weight. He's dropped down into that 74 kilo division here for Slovakia. contact. And we'll have our first whistle and a verbal warning. A more than a minute in. Kirov warned for passivity. No score. Second gold medal match of the night. We saw Russia win the first one at 61 kilos. Okay. Action red. Red attack. Sal off with a good burst, and out of bounds they go off the map for the step out point. That's some of the power that he has uh, showcased throughout the past 48 hours. They actually tagged Kirov with a caution as well on that last exchange, so a pretty good. Pretty good set right there if you're red action, red. the Slovakian, Timura Salkazanov. And now he's going to have a chance to add to the lead as well as they put Kirov on the clock. Center. So Kazanov coming into the European Championship this week took 11th at the Olympic Games qualifier in Budapest last month in late March. We talked about his run to bronze at the World Championships and Nur Sultan a couple of years ago. That was up a weight. That was at 79 kilos when he earned his World Championship medal. He was a U23 2018 world champion gold medalist, and he has wrestled pretty much anywhere. When you look up and down his, his career, he's been as light as 70. He's been as big as 79, kind of sandwiched in between this year. Bulgarian Kirov having a tough time finding some offense, trailing two to nothing. This was the early offense. He was able to get the uh, caution, clean the mat, the call there by Kirov. Really, he did not have a choice. That momentum. That train started, it's tough to put on the brakes. So Kazanov has had that locomotive rolling all week. Has not slowed down whatsoever. 2-0, we start the second period. Kirov looking at a deficit, plus he has a caution. Let's see if he can initiate some offense and try to get the Slovakian on the clock for once. Second straight year that Kirov has enjoyed success at the Continental Championship. Last year he placed fifth after an 11th place showing two years ago. He's been steady for Bulgaria throughout his career. He's been wrestling senior events for the Bulgarians since 2012. So he's coming on nearly 10 years of representing Bulgaria 
at the different levels. In fact, you go back to 2014, Finland was the setting when he captured his bronze medal. It was his very first senior European championship, and Kirov walked away with a bronze from Finland. Contact. Steady customer. <laughs> trying to earn a bronze, and trying to earn the gold seven years later. Shot clock. Kirov again gets put on. He just cannot start up any type of offense. He's been under the gun the entire match. So Kazanov a chance to add to his lead. Look at that, quick, explosive, and a finish for two. Has the gut wrench, and he'll get two more on the edge. So Kazanov building a commanding lead, 8-0. No finger, no finger. Take down away from ending it early. Convincing fashion here tonight. He's in on the leg, switches to the double, and that is it. Slovakia with a European champion. You had an idea when you knock out Frank Chimizo and send him into the Repershaw that you have a shot to bring home the gold, and that's what Timuraz Salkazanov has done. What a two-day run for the Slovakia.